Dendrochronology, otherwise called tree ring dating, involves dating tree rings or growth rings to their year of formation and then analyzing the resulting data. It is a form of proxy data, in other words, a natural recorder of past climate. Other examples include ice cores, fossilized pollen, sedimentary sequences, and corals. Proxy data is used to supplement direct measurements of climate, which only go back about 150 years. These records are used in paleoclimatology, a subfield of climatology that deals with the determination of past climates. Paleoclimatology is important because the collected data allows us to test the accuracy of models of Earth's climate. If models of Earth's climate can accurately predict the data collected from the past, then there is increased confidence in their predictions of future climate. Tree ring thicknesses are an important measurement in dendrochronology. Each year, new cells in the layer called the cambium, located between the previous year's layer of wood and a tree's bark, grow to form an additional concentric outer ring. The growth rate of a tree changes in conjunction with the seasons, forming the characteristic pattern shown here. Zooming in on one ring, we see cells of the early wood, which have larger cells and thinner cell walls. These cells form during the growth period in the spring. Cells of the late wood, on the other hand, have smaller cells with thicker cell walls and are formed during the summer. The tree rings formed from these alternating layers vary in thickness, depending on each year's conditions. Better growing conditions, with the necessary temperature, cloud cover, and especially moisture availability, yield more growth and hence thicker rings. Therefore, analyzing these rings makes it possible for paleoclimatologists to acquire information about historical atmospheric conditions. It also allows for analysis of the present local climate. Not a lot of data can be gathered from one tree. However, by overlapping data from hundreds and even thousands of trees, we can get a much longer record. Typically, the tree ring pattern repeats annually, but not always. For instance, while oak trees are extremely reliable, alders and pines are not. Meanwhile, trees in tropical regions sometimes don't even have rings to begin with. An additional aspect considered in dendrochronology is a particular tree species' ideal habitat. Generally, trees living on the margins of their acceptable habitats will have the most variation in their rings, making it easier to make deductions about their local environment. Overall, dendrochronology has wide applicability and relevance to many fields. Tree growth patterns are a great tool, with such high accuracy that it is possible to determine not only the year a tree was cut down, but sometimes also the season. Hence, one important use of dendrochronology is calibrating radiocarbon ages. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. It would help me make more videos. And make sure to comment with any topics you'd like me to cover in future videos. Also, it would be really nice if you could support me on Patreon. Thank you.